here with uh, Tony at Swell Pharmacy in Arizona. This is our very first uh, live installation of our new solar system 1100, and it's the, for their first experience with LED. They're mostly running 1,000 watt Gavitas, and we're about two weeks away from harvest. For That's correct. Full blown uh, experiment. And Tony's nice enough to kind of give us their feedback and see what experience we've had up to this point. Yeah, at, at this point, uh, I can attest to the fact that uh, uh, with the uh, LEDs implemented from from the start to this point, we have seen some incredible growth. Uh, you can tell by many of the flowers that you see uh, that the uh, density and the the spacing of the nodes are are tight, and the the flowers have uh, come out quite quite dense and. At this point, uh, things are looking really good uh, in comparison to a Gavita. Every strain in here we've run at least for the last year consistently. So you've got a good apples to apples comparison? That's correct. And you pretty much just swapped out the Gavitas on a one to one level? That's correct. We're running 20 LEDs where we ran 20 Gavitas. So uh, the number of uh, light numbers comparison, uh, we're running all the same nutrients. Um, we've also done a, a, a soil to nutrient comparison to get the information on how uh, the two are working uh, side by side as well. Right here is we have our lemon kush. This plant is a frost monster. It has a little bit of a smaller yield. It can put out, but I mean, we have never got this type of growth out of this particular strain. We usually get these little popcorn golf ball nuggets going on, but uh, you get in here into this canopy here, we've got foot long colas size of soda cans over here. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. The differences we're noticing, we're definitely getting some, a lot more terps out of this lemon strain. It's kind of a, a bland strain that we've got going on with the HPS, but uh, here in this LED room, it is putting out just an incredible citrus, cushy undertone to it. But the combination of the LEDs and the organic soil, it's, we are getting some very incredible smells. Girl Scout cookies, obviously is a strain everyone in the industry is familiar with. This has been one of the biggest kind of surprises that we've had so far with these LEDs. The size of some of these colas and just some of these lateral branches, these clusters we're getting, we're not even coming close to these with the Gavitas. The Girl Scout cookies are sensitive to light uh, in general. So with these LEDs in this spectrum, we have really brought out the size of these. Our Gavita rooms are putting out some bigger trike heads and they've got a little bit more of that frosty look, but these plants are extremely frosty. We just have tons and tons and tons of smaller trike heads, but they are just packed in. We got some stretch in this plant that we normally don't get. This is a true indica that stays extremely squat with a single topping. Uh, with these LEDs and the change of spectrum, we've got the nodes tighter. This is one of our 40 light Gavita setups. Uh, we're taking a look at our Girl Scout cookies. This plant is a few days ahead of the LED room, uh, but if you take a look at just some of the nug growth and the structure, you're not seeing any of that stacking in the actual spears that we're getting out of the LED room. I think what we're getting out of the Girl Scout cookies with the Cali Lightworks lights that we're not getting out of these Gavitas is uh, the Girl Scout cookies is a plant that is sensitive to extreme intensity of like a, the HPS bulbs. Uh, with that Cali Lightworks in the mixed spectrum, a little higher above the canopy, we're actually getting that awesome nug formation. We're getting the nodes stacking closer uh, with a better bud development than uh, what we're seeing out of these Gavitas. And this is our lemon kush. Uh, as you can see in the other room, I mean, we are getting major stacking in size. Uh, we are not seeing that with the strain in this room. We're getting these gaps in between the nodes, uh, just smaller growth, smaller stem size. 
just to see what the LED room did to this strain is absolutely just so impressive that we're not quite sure what to think about it. This is the controller for the actual solar system um, LED lights for the calendar. You can go in and program up to 365 days. If you need to schedule out for a nine week flower cycle, you can do that right with this program and it'll follow the schedule according to what you have set up. Our main motivation is the plant itself. Um, we're wanting to make sure that, uh, you know, we can provide a certain level of quality and that if uh, we can obtain that with all that could be provided, cost savings, time, etc., cetera, um, that's, you know, all part of the, the bigger picture, but uh, really we wanna, wanna see how the, the plant does with, with, the, uh, with the lights. Walking into any cannabis grow room is exciting every day, but when you walk into this LED room and you get these red lights and these purple lights and just what you can do with the spectrum, it's very special. 